Hi guys, Charles DeWandler here, and today I'm going to show you something really simple, but a really cool way to make your photos more interesting, and that is to add lens flares to your photo. And I'm going to show you two different ways to add lens flares. One way is by using uh, pre-built lens flares that you can buy from someplace or get from somewhere else. Another way is to use the lens flare tool within Photoshop. First, I'm going to show you the idea about using lens flares that you can get from places. For example, there is this uh, guy who I bought these uh, layers of different things from. He was selling this whole package on his website for 30 on sale for 37 bucks. Uh, let me get, just get his name correct. His name is Sergey Romelli. Okay, Sergey Romelli. Maybe you can Google that if you want to look into his stuff. Anyway, he has a bunch of overlays that he gives away in folders full of different kinds of overlays, one of them being lens flares. Um, now just real quick, let me just show you what I mean by overlays because some of these are um, falling snow. Let's say you want to add snow to your shots. You know, one really cool way to uh, make pictures more interesting is to just add more layers to it. So here's snow. Snow doesn't make sense for this type of photo, but just showing you like an example. Another example would be, um, you know, lightning. Lightning doesn't, again, this is another one that doesn't make sense for this photo because lightning would be outdoors and this photo is indoors. But let's say, you know, you wanted to add lightning, you could, you know, do something, you know, kind of cool. Or um, something that I would probably add to this photo is uh, smoke or fog. Uh, let's take a look at like one of these fog ones, for example. This is a cool one that should work for this photo. Let's say I wanted to add fog. I could drop it in, change it to screen, and look, now there's fog in the photo. I can even put the photo behind Selena there, so now it looks like the fog is behind her. Let me turn it on and off, and you can see what I mean. That's the room the way it was when I took this photo of uh, Selena Maudi, a friend of mine who's an actress and a model in LA. Here's with the fog. See, it just adds more layers, just makes it look more cool. I'm going to delete that for now, and I'm just going to focus right now <clears throat> on the lens flare aspect of this video because I want to keep this video short. So let's go to Sun Lens Flare Overlays and see what we have here. We've got See, I've got this uh, thing so I can see different previews of what they look like. Um, so let's say we go through, and for each, for any photo you're editing, you might want to use a, a different one. You're not, you, you want to find something that fits the photo that you're editing. You don't want to just use the same lens flare for every photo or, or whatever. But let's just say we're going in here and we, we find one that looks really cool for this photo. By the way, when I say lens flare, I don't just mean a lens flare from the sun because obviously anytime you um, take a photo outside and the sun is in your photo that's a perfect opportunity to add a lens flare to the sun but really any even when you're indoors if you have a light like this like a neon light in the background or just a light bulb or a light source of any t type or just something really bright in the shot you can add a lens flare to it to give the illusion that this uh, neon light is shining a flare into the camera. So let's just pick one that we think will look cool. Um, we can actually, we can also adjust, you don't even have to worry about the colors right now because we can always adjust the colors later. But let's just say we, uh, let's just say, I don't want that one because it's cut off on the top. Let's say we want this one. So here's all I got to do. It's so simple. So I have this package I bought for 37 bucks. I can use these as, as much as I want. So let's say I like this one, O2.jpg. I drop it in. I resize it so it fits the full image. Uh, double click. Now watch this. This is so simple. All you do is you go up here to this drop down menu where it says normal. You change it to screen. Boom. Now. All, all this black, when you change it to screen, it takes all this black and it makes it transparent. So screen makes the black transparent. Now all we gotta do is figure out where we wanna put this in the image, like what looks the coolest. 
And as I look at it now, I don't really like this lens flare. I don't think it really matches these lights. But for the purpose of just, you know, brevity, just showing you what we're doing here, that's, if we like this, we could just use it just like that. Now let's say, I don't like it because I don't like that one. Let's try and find one that looks like maybe it fits a little bit more naturally with this light. Um, I thought I saw one. Okay, let's try this one. It's also blue, so that kind of saves us some trouble having to change the color. Screen. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Now I'm going to stretch it a little bit. We actually don't have, because the black is transparent, we don't have to stretch it fully. I kind of like that, actually. That looks pretty cool. Now, it won't work as well over here, but it does kind of work. Um, but I think that looks kind of cool right there. Or what we can do is we can do edit uh, free transform. See how the light is going this way? Oh, actually, if we make it closer to a face, then it kind of, the glare goes on her. I actually like that better. Oh, that's like perfect right there. But here's what I was going to show you with resize. I mean, literally, this is up to your imagination. You can literally do anything you want in Photoshop. It's just all up to your imagination. I was going to say, if we wanted to go up to the upper left-hand corner, we could, by resizing it and flipping it, we can now make the light over here. However, that was so cool when the light was on her. What if we just pick a spot in the picture where it just looks the coolest on her? I kind of like that, actually. Bingo. I think we nailed it. Again, this is just my opinion. It's completely, I mean, all of this is your own personal preference. Now, just to show you another thing with this while we're here. This is the lens flare I just added to that shot, just to make it pop a little bit more. Let me show you something really crazy that's going to blow your mind. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. I don't know. This is the original photo that I took with my camera, unedited. First thing I did was I cut Selena out from the background so she looked like that then actually no wait I take that back first I cut her out of the background so it looked like that then I brightened the the uh, the colors and everything and made her look like that then I took the background and adjusted the colors and made it look like that now I know what you're thinking why did I adjust the colors of her separate from the background because if I left it like like this the, the adjustments I would have made to the back to make the, the wall darker would have also made her darker. So I had to cut her out separate. Then I also brightened her eyes a little bit and brightened her hair. So there you have the edited version. Um, and like I said, if I did it now, now that I have this package um, that I got from Sergey, I mean, I would like to add more smoke and add other layers to this. But here's a lens flare. Perfectly easy. It took us only a couple minutes to put that in. Now, what if you don't have a package from somebody like this with uh, pre-built lens flares? You can also build lens flares in Photoshop. Now, I'm going to show you the dumb way I used to do it. I used to take all these layers, click, um, merge layers, because you can't add... Um, a lens flare to one layer when it's if you want the lens flare to show on all the layers you have to merge all the layers it's kind of annoying so I would merge all the layers then I would go up to here and click um, uh, which one is it under under render so you go up to filter render lens flare and then look at this little window it gives you this option for different lens flares you can do 5300, 35, 105, and you can adjust the size. Obviously, we don't want to make it too big and obnoxious. It's going to cover our entire image. But you pick one that you like. Let's say we like this one. You want to adjust the size so it, it's the right size for your image. Then you click OK, and boom, you just made a lens flare on your image. Well, that's cool, but look, we don't have any layers anymore. So now we can't adjust the layers separately. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Undo, 
and I'm actually going to edit uh, step backward so that I unmerged the layers that I merged. Now here's a cool little trick. All you have to do to add a lens flare on a separate layer, because watch, well, here, let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about, in case you haven't tried this before. Layer, new, layer, layer. Now we go up here to render, lens flare. It says, could not put the lens flare because the layer is empty. You can't put a lens flare on nothing. So here's what you do, it's so simple. Remember before how we changed that screen, we changed that one layer to screen? All you gotta do is pick the color black, go to your uh, bucket tool here, paint bucket tool, boom, make the whole image black, and then go up to this drop down menu and put it on screen. Now the black is invisible. Now you're thinking, okay, if it's invisible, where does the lens flare go? Watch this, it's so simple. Filter, render, lens flare. Let's say we like this lens flare we did before. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Maybe it was a little bit too big. Watch this. Boom. Now we have a lens flare and it's on a separate layer that I can turn on and off. And I can also edit it. Watch. Let's say it's a little bit off center. I can put this arrow on here and I can move it over to where I want it. Maybe I don't want it on this light. Maybe I want to put it on this light. So I just move it over a little bit. Maybe I want to put it on this light. So I move it a little bit more. Um, now this part I cut off, so I can't move it down. I have to keep it uh, this part at the top. But if, if I wanted to make one uh, where it's down here, this is, the other, this is the other advantage to doing this. Edit step backward, uh, render, lens flare. If I wanna put it down a little bit so I have some space around to, to move it and adjust. Now watch this, click okay. Now, if I decide I want to move it, I can move it up or down or move it over, and it, it doesn't really, uh, it's not, the circles aren't cut off up here, so I can move it around as much as I want. Now, let's say I want it right here. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, I notice that there is a little bit of edge over here showing. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but see, there's an edge here where there's a little bit of glare from the lens flare showing, and I don't want it to show. So all I have to do is go to my eraser tool, make the eraser tool, you know, relatively big, but make sure it's soft, and just go like this, and just erase that hard edge, and boom, the lens flare is perfect. We can also do this. Let's say. Uh, we think this is a little bit too harsh. We just want to blur that a little bit. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And look, we can adjust the sharpness. We can just make it a little bit blurrier. That's a little bit too blurry. You can't see it anymore. Um, but we can just pick a setting, maybe like that. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit blurry, but still you can see enough of it. The other thing we can do, since this is its own separate layer, Image, adjustments, color balance. Watch, we can change the color of this lens flare. We can make it more blue. That actually looks pretty darn cool like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that looks ugly. Man, I like the way that looks. Something like this. We've taken the, the regular pre-built lens flare from Photoshop, which is kind of reddish, and we've literally just, um, made it more see this is kind of yellowish this is kind of reddish we've literally just made the whole thing more blue and that actually makes it match the uh, image a little bit better so i kind of like that and if i were you know really editing this for real i would um there's some more things i would do this photo to adjust it now that i know more about uh, layers and now that i have more options with fog and things like that but just for the purpose of this video, I want to keep it short and simple. And just to show you how lens flares work, that's a way you can add a lens flare in Photoshop for free. And this is a way you can add a lens flare using a pre-built uh, settings of lens flares that you can buy from somewhere. And it's really that simple. And you can even combine them. Look at this. I can just, I could make multiple lens flares in here and have one be from the pre-built package 
and one that I created in Photoshop. I can even say, oh, you know what, I like that one over there, let me put this one over here. I mean, you can literally do anything you want, whatever looks good to your eye and whatever, you know, fits your creativity. And there you have it, lens flares. It's super easy. And look how much cooler that looks than this. This is, even though this shot does look pretty cool, look how much cooler that looks. It just gives it a little bit more pop. All right, guys, if you learned anything, you, you got any good tips out of this, please like the video and comment on the bottom. Let me know what you learned. Let me know what you'd like me to show you on the next video. And also, since I'm doing these videos for free, you know, I'm not charging any money for these or anything. Um, if you want to do something for me as a favor, just to help me out, go to my website, charlesdewandler.com and just check out and see if there's anything on here that you like. Maybe you want to buy one of these books like Frank Kennedy Operation Freedom. You might want to buy for $2.99 on, uh, on Amazon Kindle or Romantic Novella, Upon a Time. Or you can watch some free videos like our Ghost Wranglers video. You can watch this interview with me. You can watch um, our short films like Show Stealer, Take Me Back. Or you can watch my movie, Parody Movie, for free on Tubi. All these videos, this video is on YouTube. This is on YouTube. You know, you can watch my videos. If you, if you can't afford to spend, you know, $2.99 to read one of my books, you can watch some of my videos for free on YouTube. Anyway, thanks, guys. I hope you like this video. Look forward to seeing your comments. And uh, charlesdewandler.com. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.